Okay, guys, we're going to talk about our loudness range and how to get where we want to get to conform with the recommended standards from the AES, okay? Now, the LRA, your loudness range, is absolutely dictated by so many different things, it's incredible. Okay, and I'm just going to read over a few. Uh, your input levels, you need to be in between a negative 6 and a negative 12, guys. Okay, that's your target range. Your mic placement, the distance to your mic, you know, and, and if you move away from your mic, literally moving two to three inches away will make a tremendous dif or difference in your loudness range. You know, if you're trying to do uh, deal with multi-tracks, if you've got long fade-ins and fade-outs on your audio, your intros, your outros, you know, if you're, if you're clipping your audio and you just say, well, I'm just going to go ahead and do it anyway, okay? You know, whether you use a condenser mic or a dynamic mic, I'm telling you guys, it all makes a difference, okay? So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and start this recording, and I'm going to lay this track down, and as you can see, we're going to come up in here, and I just want to get enough audio to show you how everything gets affected, okay? So I'm going to leave some silence in here because silence in your podcast is one of the largest killers for your loudness range, okay? And, and I'm going to show you why. So I think we have enough audio here to go ahead and make a comparison. So we're going to go ahead and stop this. We're going to save the file. We don't need to have this armed anymore. Now I'm just going to splice this off right here, uh, strictly because it's, uh, I was speaking as I started it, and I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to bring it over. So let's go ahead and bring up our loudness. We're going to analyze that track. Now you see where we're coming in here to negative 21.3. Our loudness range is a 5.4. And we have a negative 5.4 dB total peak. Okay. And I'm going to show you a new trick here that I learned earlier today. Uh, I was actually doing some mathematics. So, you know, what's the first thing we want to do with our audio? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to render this to a negative 23. Okay, and I'm going to show you this process as we go. Now, you notice our loudness range did not change at all. Okay, our true peak changed a little bit, and our loft definitely came up to a negative 23. So, now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to start cutting out some of these empty spaces. So give me just a second. I'm going to go through here real quick. Now, if you notice over here, we got the ripple editing. I'm going to turn that on. And that way, when I make my splits, when I delete them, it's going to bring that audio over automatically. Okay. So let me just go ahead and grab some more. And this way I can just kind of go through here. And, you know, you got to remember too, guys, this is uh, exaggerated because I want to show you, you know, how these dead air or spaces with your audio can make a tremendous difference. And we're going to remember uh, the number down here, the negative five or the 5.4, I'm sorry as far as our loudness range. And we got one more to take out. And you know, and you're saying, well, look, man, that's gonna mess up the cadence as I talk, you know, that's gonna mess up the timing. And it doesn't, I can come in here and I can add anything that I want to. You know, I can separate any of these to add time in, uh, you know, to go back and do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just ease this up a little bit. Now I'm going to select all these tracks. And that way when I move them in, they're all going to move together. And there we go. Now remember, 5.4, okay? Let's analyze that track again. Look at that. Now we're down at a negative 22.9. Our range has now dropped to a 4.1, and there's our true peak, okay? So what do we do? Well. Watch this. You're going to love it.
we're going to come up here and we're going to grab us a master limiter. Okay. Now I've got this set. If you take these, these writings down, okay, these numbers, you're going to set the threshold to a negative 7.5. You're going to take the limit and put it at a negative 0 0.75. Okay. That's it. You're going to come up here. You're going to click the uh, plus and you're going to say the preset, name it whatever you want to. Okay. So what happens now? Well, now we're going to render this file. Watch what happens. So we're going to call it untitled 22. We're going to check the box right down here, which is going to add it back into the project. And it'll give us the same thing. Okay. So now what do we do? Okay. Let's close up the tail here. I'm not worried about that file up top. So let's go ahead and take this. We don't need this anymore. And let's analyze this file and see what it gives us. We are at a negative 16.6 LOPS. Our loudness range is a 4.1, and our true peak is a negative 1.1 all day long. Okay? Like I said, what affects your loudness range? It is your input level, your mic placement, the distance you have to your mic, and if you move away from your mic. If you're using a bunch of multi-tracks at different levels, if you've got long fade-ins and fade-outs, if you're trying to, to use clipped audio, if you're using a condenser mic and, you know, instead of a dynamic mic, all these things matter. But it, the easiest way to do this, okay, is to sit there and do the proper input. Use the proper mic technique. Keep that microphone close, you know, the same distance all the way through. It is never the one major step in audio, guys. Okay? It's all the little steps that add up. All right? God bless. Take care. Be safe. And we are out of here.